Now, we're going to take a look at the extraction of aluminum. This process requires electrolysis, a concept which you should be familiar with by now. Okay, so here is your diagram over here. And the top part right here, that's the positive anode. And surrounding the solution down here, that'll be the negative cathode. And like most other electrolysis experiments, the electrodes are usually made with carbon or graphite. And the solution that we're working with today is molten bauxite. Keyword, molten, not aqueous. Molten bauxite is also known as aluminum oxide. In formulas, Al2O3. Now, aluminum oxide comes in the form of a solid. And in order for electrolysis to work, we need to melt this solid to a liquid so that electricity can pass through and we can extract the aluminum. But in order for the solid to melt, we need lots and lots of heat. It takes about 2,000 degrees Celsius to melt aluminum oxide. And this is expensive and not very practical. So how we solve this is we add cryolite. And cryolite helps a lot in this extraction because one of the first things it does is that it helps lower the melting point of the aluminum oxide to about 900 degrees Celsius instead of 2000 degrees Celsius. And this saves a lot of energy and now it requires much less heat to melt the aluminum oxide. And the second thing that cryolite does is that it increases the electrical conductivity of the molten bauxite, which helps speed up the electrolysis process even more. So let's begin the electrolysis process. The ions in the solution, Al3+, and O2-, will be attracted to their respective electrodes. The positively charged, Al3+, will be attracted to the negative cathode, and the negatively charged O2- will be attracted to the positive anode. Okay, so now let's look at the respective ionic half equations that occur at each electrode. So firstly, at the cathode, I'm going to write down the ionic half equation that takes place here. So firstly, Al3 plus gains electrons to form an aluminum atom. So Al3 plus plus electrons to form Al. So we need to balance that. So that will be your equation at the cathode. Now over here at the anode, the ionic half equation that occurs is O2 minus arrow, the oxygen atom, plus electrons. So we have the oxide, which becomes the oxygen atom plus electrons, showing that the oxide loses electrons in order to form oxygen. So balance that again. And that'll be your balanced equation. But this isn't the only equation that occurs at the anode. As you know, the anode is made up of carbon. And so the carbon in the anode reacts with the oxygen that forms in order to form CO2, carbon dioxide. Now this reaction uses up the carbon in the anode. So in time, the electrode will start to dissolve. And eventually, your electrode will slowly diminish in size and will end up looking something like this. And so as you can see, the sides of the electrode have started to dissolve because the carbon in it has been used up in the reaction. And so we need to replace this anode periodically so that in the future, we can still extract more aluminum. And that concludes our lesson on the extraction of aluminum.